facilitated discharge is for patients that are medically well but may also need some extra support whilst at home. We would speak to the patient on the ward and find out from the doctors, from the OTs, from the physios what exactly the patient needs in their own home. Once they are medically optimised to go home, we can then actually do an assessment in their own home and encourage their recovery long term. We work alongside the NHS staff to ensure that the clients get the right care and support they need when they go into the community. And we can support them making sure that they can manage with their equipment and we can also manage with the rehab care plan to make sure they're independent with their daily tasks and goals. My name's Mrs Kia Gibbons and I came here because I fractured my hip. When we got into the house, they made sure that I was able to do everything, like sit in the chair, walk up and down the stairs. They will come along and help you all the stages you need until you are ready to do your own thing. For Kate, she was very anxious. So when we got there, we moved some furniture, we made it safe at the mobilised around with a wheel zimmer frame, we are seen up and down the stairs, which relaxed Kay a lot. My name is Betty and I went in for back surgery. The ambulance driver brought me home with the ambulance transport. The OT and the OT nurse more or less followed. What I hadn't myself, they made sure that they could get it for me. When I met Betty, Betty was in significant pain on the ward. Um, the ward were very keen that Betty was discharged but we weren't sure how Betty was going to function in our own home. We agreed that Betty would need reablement twice a day around personal care and meal preparation, but we did say if Betty wasn't able to manage on the visit as well as expected, we could either increase the level of support that she had at home, or if she really wasn't safe, we had intermediate care as a backup plan. I could just pick the phone up and get help. I've gone on leaps and bounds. This is crucial for the patient's recovery because it gives the patient a bit of confidence that they're being supported and that they've got someone every step of the way to guide them at home. Yes, it is confidence and that's all you need, somebody to direct you. Our service is important because it gives patients the opportunity to get them independent in their own home. I don't think anyone wants to stay in hospital any longer than they have to. The best place for someone is to be is at their home.